so if you go to classwork um, in your Google Classroom, under Observation Stations Handout, if you click on that handout, you'll get the handout here. And it says, uh, for each station, your teacher will demonstrate one or, more activity, one or more activities. You will watch the demonstration, respond to the prompt below for each station. Some stations use household items and others use either commercial devices or teacher-produced apparatus. And then there's three things that we have to do. What procedure was followed by the teacher? Describe what you observed. Remember, observation is facts that you gather from your senses. Um, don't, do not confuse what you observe with what you think is happening, which is what inference is. Describe the specific changes you observed during this event from beginning to end. So with the monkey, it's the very first one. It's the flying monkey demo. I'm going to take my fingers, I'm going to stick them in the monkey's paws, like so. And I'm going to pull the monkey back, and I'm going to fire him. Okay, I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to stick my fingers in the monkey's paws. I'm going to pull the monkey back, and I'm going to fire him. Now, the first one we have to find out is, well, what procedure was followed? So that's where you have to think about what I did specifically. And so the teacher put his fingers in the stuffed monkey's paws, right? That is the first thing I did, put my fingers in his paws. And then I pulled back its body, right? And then I let go. That's the procedure. It's what the teacher or the person did. That's the procedure. And you have to be specific. You can't just say, the teacher shot the monkey. Because then somebody would think something not so nice and with a live monkey. Now, this is a stuffed monkey, right? So. Careful with what you with what you write. Now, what did we observe? What did you observe? Well, the first thing that you're going to notice is that the monkey flew in the air and it hit the wall. And we're going to call the smart board the wall, just for the sake of it. So the monkey flew in the air and hit the wall. Okay, and both of those we got from our site. We could see that, uh, which is part of observation, but not all of it. And then it made a crying noise, which is also part of the observation, the sound. And it landed on the table. So the procedure is something that the teacher does, or what you do if you were in class. The observation is something that, the fact that you gain from your senses. And since this is a video, you're only gonna gain from your senses either sound or uh, sight. That's the only two that you can use. You can't use the other senses. Um, and then the changes that were observed seems like it's the same as this, but it's really not. The first change that observed that you observed would be the actual length of the monkey's arms. They got longer, right? Short to long. So the list of the changes here, uh, the arm length, the arm length changed, right? The position of the monkey changed. It started at this position, and it ended over here. So its position changed. The motion of the monkey changed. It started, and it was still. And then it flew in the air before it landed and was still again. So the motion changed. And then the amount of sound changed because it was quiet at first. And then it hit the wall, and it made the sound. Um, so those things, those things changed. Uh, there were changes that we could notice. 